Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Metroid Dread, the new Metroid game. So, I've played a lot of Metroid games, but I haven't finished a lot of them. But I have gotten a rundown on the story and everything I should know from uh, a friend of mine who's also playing this. So, we can go ahead and hop in and safely play this because this game sounds awesome. It's probably be my first completed Metroid game actually. Metroid, a virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo, and named after their word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. And they were originally made to take care of the X-Parasite. That's why the Chozo created them. Yep, X-Parasite, a gelatinous parasite, uh, parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DMA, DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X-Parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed to be extinct. There's a cool shot of Samus. Look at our gal. Oh, are we getting a recap? That would be interesting. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because this is... With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X... Uh, with the X. Horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. Yup. You had to get yourself a new suit. Well, it's nice that we're getting a recap. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a Biologic Space Laboratories BSL research station to investigate a distress signal. Yep, and this was the events of Metroid Fusion. And that's when you find out that the X-Parasite cloned you! <laughs> There, I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Yep, that's an X showed an X, alive and in the wild. Through analysis, though analysis proved the video was real, although the, uh, through, thorough analysis proved the video was real, although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. I'm guessing we're going there right now, huh? I dread it. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dis dispatched a research team of seven Emmy to investigate. Mm -hmm. I know about you from the trailers for this game. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after the arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. Yeah. So the Emmys did not do their job correctly. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go out there and find out. Cause you got that Metroid DNA. Dino DNA. Alright. Let's go, Samus. But yeah, the story of uh, Metroid isn't super confusing, especially if you do like a wiki dive or something, and they did a pretty good job of explaining everything that we're supposed to know there. Most of the Metroids that I played were the really early Metroids and some Metroid Prime. Which, Prime is supposed to take place like, I think it's between 1 or 2 or before 1 and 2. Something like that. We'll soon be entering ZTR's atmosphere. Mission does not seem appropriate. The clearly outweighs the reward. We are lost assets with 
entering the atmosphere in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is absolutely nuts how long people have been waiting for this new entry in the Metroid series, too. <laughs> absolutely insane. I'm glad people finally got it. Look at my cool dread suit. Okay. Birdman. Yeah, and we were in a different suit there, right? So what was that? So when we got here, did we get captured, I guess, and then something happened? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to garner from that little uh, cutscene there. Because it looks like that was maybe when we arrived, and then like something happened to us, so. Well, I don't have the Goron bracelet, so I can't push boxes yet, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Whoop. Uh-huh. Okay, you're dead. Whoop. Okay, so, can you only aim- yeah, you can only aim with the right stick, so, like this. But, um, isn't there a- I thought you could press, like, the triggers to- to get Samus to shoot diagonally. But, uh, I also have rockets already, which is nice. While tilting to run ZL to slide. Okay, we're gonna have to remember that. That's probably gonna be very useful. Uh, hold L to use free aim mode. And then, tilt to aim. Ah, there we go. So, bop. There we are. So free aim mode is, uh, one of those. Hey, what are you doing? Out of here. Go away. Nobody wants you. Uh, what is this? Whoop. So, free aim. Boom. Uh, okay. Destroyed that. Is there a point? Huh. Uh, oh, I guess I can use it as a, like, grabby spot. I do. Okay, here's you. Huh. Ammo is already at maximum capacity. Is this, like, a checkpoint? And what is the deal with you? What are you? Alright. Hold R to ready missiles and press Y to fire. Some blocks can only be destroyed by using specific weapons. So... Okay, that one can only be destroyed by using missiles, huh? 
And I can't get in there yet. Well, do I have Morph Ball? I should, right? Somewhere. Oh! Okay, I should have went through here as soon as I destroyed it. My bad. Oh, look at the little things flying around over there. Boom. And get me through there. Some destructible blocks are hidden. If you run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Striking some blocks with missiles may reveal how to destroy them. Okay, so I'm guessing it's talking about that. Wanted to check everything else. Uh... Okay, well, that, that didn't reveal shit. Um... I mean, I've shot that block with a missile. Oh! So wait, what is this? <laughs> What is that? Okay, I didn't realize there was another one down there. Okay, I was confused. I, was, I thought I was trying to destroy that thing. Alright. We're good. Uploading data. Access to network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Okay, so yeah, we came here, we got into combat with something, and then we got captured and some shit happened to us. Gotcha. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a Chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. Oh, that was a Chozo. Okay. I've only ever really seen, like, Chozo statues. So I've never actually seen a actual Chozo. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas. Shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. Yeah, that's one of the things about Metroids. They don't like cold. That was one of the ways you killed them in Prime, I believe. And since uh, Samus has Metroid DNA, yeah, we don't like cold either. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Thank you, Adam. Save your progress? Yeah. Sounds like a good idea to me. Alright, so our main objective is to navigate upwards. Press that to open the map. Alright, so... There's an ammo recharge station over there. We have 0% of the items in Artaria. Interesting. There was a thing back there that looks like I could have done something with, and also something right there. Ooh, and you can place markers. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, I love you. Samus. We have power beam and missile. That's all we got. Uh, received Adam's briefing. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright. So, we've opened the map. Uh... It's back to open the options. Oh no, what is the amiibo integration with this? <laughs> okay, so this is just how we open these doors. Alright, so I might have been able to go in that door at the very beginning. Wasn't was that a door? You know what, maybe we should go check that out? Because wasn't that a... No, these these are different than those. I don't know. I, I, I think I couldn't go in those? Well, I mean, we'll come back to it at some point if I can. If I've missed something, we'll likely come back to it. Uh, I don't trust you. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Nope, it's not a secret wall. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, okay, well we can roll through here. Whoa.
Use a melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press to use your X to use your melee counter now. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that seems like it's going to be very good. Parry enemy attacks with a melee counter by pressing X at the right moment. Yep. Alright, but uh, what was through here? Oh, yeah, I think those were the kind of doors I ran into before. Yeah, it is. So maybe I need like a charge to uh, do that? To be able to charge my beam. Uh, jump up there. Thank you. Eat it, nerd. Okay, that parry feels pretty good. Oh, if I uh, do it correctly, it would feel very good. There you go. Hitting an enemy that has been stunned as a result of the counter will cause it to drop more items. Wow, we get rewarded for it, huh? Come at me, nerd. Whoop. Okay, well, that was my bad. Where's my health bar? Maybe we don't have health yet. Maybe the game's like, eh, you're a baby. We won't worry about that right now. Uh-huh, anything over here? Not really, doesn't seem. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing like secret walls or something. I don't know how, how into that Metroid is, but uh, whoop, my bad. Dead, dead. All right. Me over here, please. Whoop. What was that like running one that I just did? It looks different if you're running. Uh oh, yeah, there we go. Press X while running to execute a powerful dash melee. Under like unlike other melee counters, the dash melee will damage the enemy. Interesting. Okay, now you're dead. Um, is there a wait? I don't think I can get up there right now. Uh-huh. What's the deal with you, huh? Don't know yet. And you're dead. Okay. Yeah, how do I get up there? Kind of want to pin that on the map, but... Yeah. Eh, we'll, we'll leave it for now. I don't think it's uh, that in integral. Aria. Okay, yeah, we get it. I'm in a dead end. The arrow on the map is blinking and indicates that a hidden item is there. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm just going to refer to the map all the time. So this area of the map. So does, does that do it on my... Yeah, okay, it does it on that map up there, too. Awesome. So... Is it up here? No. Uh, huh. I've shot this one with a rocket. Oh, you just want, oh, okay, you just want me to shoot that. Okay, and those are like little bombs. Okay, I got you. Missile tank acquired. Missile capacity increased by two. Cool. All right, and I can't get through there. Not yet. So, hmm. Do we not have our morph ball? Let me check the controls. Um, would it be here? System. Uh, controls. So, expand, mini-map, melee counter, shoot, jump, missile mode, slide, free aim. And I'll see, like, a morph ball button. Uh, I? I just got dropped in. Oh, hi. I do you believe that's uh, one of the Emmys? Oh, oh. An Emmys attack can be countered by pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, making this a desperate maneuver. Right at the time of the flash. Kill ZL and just slide under an Emmy while it's stunned. Okay. Well, now we know. We gotta do it at the flash? When it grabs us? Weird. I'm not gonna be very good at that. So, yeah, that is an Emmy, and they're gonna be coming after us. Interesting. Well, it can't climb, so. Correct, weird. 
Okay, yeah, so I had- I'd seen in trailers and stuff that the Emmy were gonna be like a nemesis creature. Nemesis-like creature from, uh, Resident Evil in this. They'll just be chasing you around. Uh-huh, what'd we get? The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega Cannon. Omega Blaster Online. Hold the L to use aimo tilt to aim. If target is nearby, Samus will automatically face that direction. Hold R to charge the Omega Blaster. Once charged, press Y while holding R to fire. Okay. So we have this now. So wait. Our free aim is this now? Instead of just... Uh... The normal shoot? I guess? Yeah, because before I could like free aim, but now it switches me into this mode. Whenever I use it. So... Wondering? Use aim mode. Tilt to aim. Once charged, press Y while holding fire. Okay, yeah, so we can't do like the free aim with our normal gun anymore? So I, had to, I just have to shoot like this with my normal gun. Uh, okay, I actually kind of liked the free aim. So it sucks that it's been replaced by this. Uh... Oh yeah, and then you gotta charge it with that. And does this cost a resource or something? I guess not, huh? Alright, um, map. Yeah, and there wasn't really anything else in there from what I can tell, so... This is probably what we needed to open that door. And I saw- oh god. And I'm dead. Okay. Counter an enemy's attack to stun it for a moment, you can slide under stun to me. Yeah. I'm forever going to be bad at doing that. I'm just gonna go ahead and be up front with people right now. I don't even know what the flash is, really. It showed us in that cutscene, but... I don't know, it was a bit hard for me to tell. Let's just do this. Okay, you're coming this way. Uh-huh. So, I'm just going to avoid you. How about that? Hiya! Haha, -ha, nerd! Later! Uh... Oh, God. Alright, I'm spooked. Wait, what? That didn't work? Wait, what? I thought that would work! Oh, shit. Okay, the flash. It's hard for me to tell when that flash is. Yeah, I mean, it says it's incredibly difficult to gauge. Yeah, I can kind of see that. I thought I was supposed to go through that door down there. Where am I supposed to go if not over there? Huh. Hello? I mean, I feel like that's where I've got to go, but it's not really working out for me, huh? Come on, big guy. And do that. And down here. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought... Wait, does it want me to shoot at this guy? Okay, that's what it wanted me to do. Wait, does that kill you guys? No way. Wow, it really kills them. Okay. I thought I was just trying to escape. I, th I didn't think they could be killed. Omega cannon depleted and offline, reverting to regular arm cannon. Oh. Okay, it is a consumable thing. Maybe we get an Omega cannon charge, like, when we see an ME and we can kill that one? Because it said there were how many? Seven or nine? So we just took out one of the Emmys. Alright. So yeah, it just didn't want me to leave earlier. It wanted me to actually fight the thing rather than try to escape. I thought it was pointless to try and fight them. I thought I heard that in the trailer, that it was like, yeah, no, you can't beat them. But I guess I was wrong. Alright, so now we can go this way. Although... Let's see, where was that uh, checkpoint? Oh, the checkpoint is all the way down there. Never mind. Guess we're gonna keep going. What was this? Is this a checkpoint? Yay! Okay, cool. Alright, well. 
I think this is probably a good point to go ahead and end the first episode of Metroid Dread off. It's pretty cool. I'm glad I still have my free aim. So that's very, very nice because I was using that quite a bit because shooting like this is a bit rough sometimes. So I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Metroid Dread. It seems pretty cool so far. And I'll see you next time.